So welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 2. This is gonna probably be the finale. Although, if I don't feel like finishing it all in one sitting, I'll probably take breaks. And, um, you know, take like a few minute break if I ever get tired out. We'll see. Because I do want to finish this game today. Since, you know, we're almost at the end of November already. <laughs> well, we're halfway through at the time of streaming, but it'll probably go up near the end of November, so... Yeah. Anyways. We're gonna do as much of the treacherous mansion as possible. Uh, we gotta go and get some gems. Uh, I mean, from what it looks like, most of these gems can be gotten in the bonus level. The only level I have to replay is E3. So, E3 and E5 to get the boo. So, yeah, because every other gem we can apparently get in the bonus level, which I'd rather do that instead of replaying like a bunch of other levels to get each of the gems individually. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna find out where the boo is in E3, because I don't know. It's in the Dark Age exhibit. So, I don't know, this, this might actually be a short stream for all I know. <laughs> And I did also do a Mario RPG rerun earlier. I'm getting sick of having to do those freaking Mario RPG reruns, bro. But um, if I want to, if I want to get to like the good stuff, I gotta finish seat seven first. So where is the Dark Age exhibit? It's to the left. Okay. Where is the Boo at, anyway? Yeah, he's probably like somewhere really obvious. Well, let me see what I need to do to get the Boo, because I clearly missed him. It says, um, using a bowl from the study, float to the top of the exhibit to find a gold bulb. A bulb from the study? Where's the study at? Where, where's the study at? Is it in the second floor? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. I think we might have to just replay this whole mission then. <laughs> okay. Well, there are any gems I can get in this level then that I missed. Oh, fuck, I didn't check what gems I was missing. You know, I'm just gonna quit and have a look. It's really annoying that you can't, like, look at your gems mid-game. It's so annoying. Why do they do it like that? I I'll, at this point, I'm just going to take a screenshot of what gems I'm missing. And that'll make it easier. Oh my god, I did it, I did it again. Fuck, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. So we've got to back out, then look at the gems. And now I can see which ones I'm missing. <laughs> Jeez, was it really so hard? So, which ones am I missing? I'm missing the oval. I'm missing the oval, the spindle, the coffin, and the mushroom. I'm missing like all four of those. But apparently, you can get all of these in the. You can get all of these in E3, which is good. Heh, <laughs> E3. And then. The. Like, the one. Okay, so the triangle, baguette, and football. Okay, well the bat the football can be gone in E3, but the baguette and the triangle, we're gonna get those in the bonus level is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm fucking routing out gem collection in Luigi's Mansion 2. This is so dumb, bro. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, well, let me just um I'm just gonna screenshot that. And then I oh I accidentally picked E1 fuck! Bro, why is it why is it like this? <laughs> God damn it! Hold on a sec. All right, I did it properly this time. I actually picked the right level. <laughs> I actually picked the right level. Like goddamn, bro. Why is this, why is it so hard to play this game? I'm just getting like overwhelmed by like feelings of like I want to get this game done, you know. It's not that I'm not enjoying this game, because this game is, is, you know, still fun enough to play, but... I'm so close to the end, I just want to, you know, get it done.
Oh. I didn't even mention the fact that I'm playing with the Mr. L skin. <laughs> but yeah, I figured this would be pretty fitting for the finale. Okay, I need to remember where to go in this level as well. Thankfully, I actually know what to do in this level now. Oh, I remember. I see what I need to do in this level. I have to. I have to close that window. That's what was making this room all foggy. Mm. It still isn't uh, making the room less foggy, though. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do in this level? Oh yeah, I gotta suck up the fog. So that was the solution to the puzzle. Now that I'm, like, looking back, it actually makes a lot more sense now. Hey, I got over here, buddy. I'm waiting for you to lift up your helmet. There we go. <laughs> so, I was looking back at um, some footage of this game, of me playing this game in 60 FPS, and me playing Brothership in 60 FPS. And um, from what it seems like, um, it is indeed an uncapped frame rate. It does not stay at 60 all the time. It's more like 50 FPS. Well, it's more like it's doing some frame skipping, which... If you really notice and pay attention to it, you can, like, pick that out. But, um... Alright, now I can take this. I can take this with me. Or not. Here, give me that. So we gotta take this with us now. Now we can take this to the uh, Dark Age exhibit, which I believe is over here. Yeah. So you can fly in this room. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have guessed there was an entire area up here? I wouldn't have. I certainly wouldn't have guessed there was something up here. Who would ever think to come up here? But there's just, there's just a crap ton of money up here. So that's pretty dope. There's a gold bulb somewhere in here. I think it's on the opposite side. Yep, there it is. And there's a door there, too. Weird. Oh! Right, I remember now. Oh, wait, I can't get over there now. I see, so I have to fly under the bed. So, what else am I missing? After grabbing the gold berry, grab all the coins in the shape of boo in time to reveal a chest. Oh, I have to do it in time? I have to, like, not fuck it up? So if I fuck up the mission, this is another case where if I fuck up, um, then I gotta replay the mission, which is not fun. It's the only the that's the only example like a thing of having to replay a mission. Don't we have to redo one of the exhibits anyway? I don't remember if that's one of them. Actually, yeah, yeah, this level is actually kind of tough. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. Before I do anything, I'm going to... Oh, wait, wait. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try and do that gold bolt thing again. We gotta. We gotta do that boo thing. We gotta get that out of the way. Cause if I fuck that up, I gotta replay the mission anyways. Yeah. Anyways, what gems can I get in this level again? Um, jungle exhibit, ice age exhibit. There's a, there's gold bulbs in like all these levels. <laughs> Oh no, I don't like the sound of that at all. Probably gonna have to replay this level a lot. We might we if we if we fuck up, we may have to redo this level a couple of times. Which uh doesn't sound very fun, honestly. <laughs> this is a case where save states would be nice in case I cock it up and I don't have to replay the level again. So you're telling me there's gold bulbs in all of these, and you have to get all the coins. Especially considering I've never done any of these before. Whoa. All right, well, we got the boo at least. Kind of, that's kind of funny. So these are all like challenges, little challenges you gotta do. I am Bureaucrat. This mansion is now under the ownership of King Boo Esquire. I take it you have the proper credentials to be here, including ID and a mansion roaming license? No, that's unfortunate. You'll have to be penalized. <laughs> Aww. Bureaucrat. Look at that boo go, he's flying. You can just like stun lock the shit out of the boos though. I'll just, I'll just grab all this money while that's happening. Alright, that boo's mine. Yeah. So that's what the point of those bulbs are in the frickin' uh, study. It's literally just for backtracking to old rooms and getting gems, which is an interesting idea. I was kind of wondering what the point of these were when I first played this level. So, I guess we go to the Ice Age exhibit now, since that's where it said one of the gems was. But yeah, there's just like a crap ton of secrets up here. I gotta find the golden bulb. There we go. Janky. <laughs> kind of stressful, too. <laughs> and that spawns in a chest. Interesting. I probably would not have found this out by myself. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, I wouldn't think to bring bulbs to random rooms. But well, it's kind of cool that you can. Anyways, that's one of the gems. What about the mushroom? The mushroom's in the train exhibit. We gotta go there last. Um, there's a- I gotta go to the jungle exhibit, too. Well, the jungle is, um, where? It's in the bottom right. In the east balcony? Wait, how do I get there? <laughs> Luigi falling. Hmm. It's the exact same. It's the exact same as the uh, Ice Age exhibit. 
Well, oh yeah, the jungle exhibit's right here, I guess, right? Yeah, okay. So we gotta bring that there. There's so many, so many exhibits I gotta bring bulbs to. <laughs> it's very strange, but I dig it. Thankfully, the coin timer seems to not be too strict, honestly. Which, uh, thank god. Are you fucking kidding me? That stupid fucking frog got in the way? And now I have to go grab another one? Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me, dude. That's so annoying. That's because that fucking frog got in the way. God damn it, big, come pick up your fucking frog. Froggy, what are you doing in the jungle exhibit? Isn't that like the plot point of one of the Sonic Heroes levels? So I gotta wait for this stupid frog to get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, get away from me, bro. Oh my god, fucking get out of here, bro. <laughs> Die, jeez. Where do I even use it? Do I have to go up here? Maybe. Uh, how do I get down there again? I don't think I can get down there. Oh, I know I can. I have to do. I have to use this. <laughs> the most frustrate. It's all. This room is only frustrating because the fucking frogs are in the way. I don't know if they respawn or not, but I killed all of them. Well, let's find out. Let's find out if they respawn. They probably will. It's gonna make it really annoying. <laughs> You have to do some stupid dodging. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't look like they respawn. Thank god. So you can apparently fly upwards here. <laughs> it just turns out there's like spikes randomly and then I hit them and I lose it. I have to redo it all over again. Okay. Oh, I got some coins here. We got some fun we got some fun coin shenanigans. So far I've been getting these first try, so maybe they're not as strict as I thought. Alright, next gem. We're kinda just getting all of these, aren't we? <laughs> so what about, um... Let's see. The Oval. Front Entrance Slash Dark Age Exhibit. The player needs to place the blue book from the front entrance into the slot on the bookcase. Oh, I know how to get that, actually. That shouldn't be too hard. I need to use the bulb to get down there. That shouldn't be too hard. I was wondering when I was going to be able to get the blue book, and I think I figured out how to get it now. <laughs> you just get it like this. Yep. And then you can fly up here. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. Yeah, I was, I was surprised to see that this blue book never got used. I thought it was gonna be like, it led to like a different part of the mansion, but nope, this is just one of the gems. <laughs> oh, it's already like most of the gems. Um, so we can get, oh yeah, we can also get the football at the front entrance. The, the player needs to use the dark light device to reveal the missing chain attached to the gargoyle. Oh, okay. Missing chain, huh? Yep, 
Yeah, I would not have guessed that was there. How, how would I have known that was a thing? <laughs> but that's another gem right there. Wow, this cleanup is going surprisingly well. And then I pull this again to fix the stairs. Okay. And the mushroom is where? It's in the train exhibit. Okay, so now we just have to play the level normally. Um, assuming I know how to. <laughs> well, don't I need to bring some fire into this room so we can fix it and get the gold book? Well, I think I know where the where we get we get some flame at. I think we gotta go in here. Oh wait, no, no. So we need to grab the log from the jungle and then bring it here. See, I like I like this puzzle. This puzzle is still really fun. It's even better the second time. You gotta go to so many different rooms, and then we gotta um, then we gotta go back to the space exhibit. Don't know if there's anything in the ice room, but we're gonna go in here anyways. So there's that. I think we do need to go to the ice, ac ice exhibit, actually. I just wanted to do that. Get that done. Oh, that's the spaceship falling back down, I think. <laughs> I mean, why else would you need to bring fire here? Why there's there a mammoth here? <laughs> is, that, wait, that is, is that all that's in this room? Just a frickin' mammoth? <laughs> huh. Okay. I forgot where the gold book is at, honestly. Done, done. Oh yeah, isn't it like right here? <laughs> And then, the, and then have, I think this is when you go back to the space exhibit. <laughs> Why can't I go in there? Oh. This E guy is here to say, like, hey, dumbass, you gotta go here. I think now is when the Poltergeist will show up. Boom. This boss isn't all that bad, really. <laughs> yeah. Frickin' Roger over here, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, match for me, Roger. I'm I'm super goaded. You, Roger. Come back, Roger. Roger, come back. There you go. All right, one more, one more Roger cycle. This is that's just what I'm calling him now. I'm calling him Roger. 
It reminds me of this funny clip that uh, Matteo showed me. I think it was a week ago or so now. Where it was a clip of Roger from American Dad being like, I'm gonna rape him this time. <laughs> and that shit was hilarious. Get him. Oops. Why can't I hit him now? I think so much trouble with frickin' Roger this time around. Roger, why can't I hit you? There we go. I had more trouble with that the second time around than I did the first time. Very weird. <laughs> Alright, back to the, uh, back to the right exhibit. And then there's a gem in the train exhibit, so we need to go in there. Okay, so there's a train somewhere. Where's the train at? Oh, hello. I'm just gonna catch him anyway. Okay, real quick. Let me see what I have to do in this room, because I don't know. The player needs to use the dark light to reveal the missing part piece of the track, then ride the train around the room. Oh, you're right, there is a missing piece of track here. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Wait, is that is that E5 only, or is it E3? Can I do that on E3? It's E3, E5, and bonus. Oh, well, I got a bone. Well, where's, where's the train at, then? Probably that train right there, actually. Boom. Hey, I mean, the ghost... At the end of the day, the ghost busting is still really fun. Okay, and now we can activate the train. Oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. The train exhibit actually being useful. <laughs> Luigi freaked out and I got a gem for it. Great. All right. Well, thanks for that. Alright. I think that's the end of the level. That mushroom's like right at the end of the level. That's crazy. So now all we gotta do is play E5. Which, uh, actually, that kind of sucks because that mission's really freaking long. I did, like, way better, and I still got a silver. Yeah, I kind of dicked around, to be fair. Take a dump now. Well, that's one level done. There's not gonna be there's not gonna, there's gonna be too many levels. Man, look how many freaking gems I got. I got like five. And apparently you updated. No boo. 
We'll check those eventually. And probably after we do E5 is when we'll do it. Yeah. We're only 30 minutes in. That's surprising. And then we just gotta do E5 again. Okay. I'm gonna take a little break then. So I was looking at my um, analytics, as one usually does, <laughs> and I noticed, I looked at my subscribers, and it said negative eight subscribers. <laughs> Which, it, in other words, means over the last 28 days, I've lost eight subscribers, and I've gained a number of them, I don't know. The thing, the thing that's annoying about the analytics right now is it doesn't actually tell me how many new subscribers I gained because the amount of people unsubscribing outweighs the amount of people that are subscribing. And it's been like that for the past, like, four or five years. And I think my channel is slowly getting to a point where I might actually be outweighing the amount of people unsubbing. <laughs> Which is, uh, that's great. Maybe by the end of next year I'll actually start seeing th those numbers go up again. <laughs> Uh, let's see, um, go to the aviation exhibit. Which one's the aviation exhibit? Is on the second floor? Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I've ever been to the aviation exhibit before. But I guess we'll go to the second floor then. Oh, this is a mission where I really, really wish I could just frickin' go to, um... Where I just frickin' go to the, uh, whatchacallit. I can just get the boo and be done. Oh, yeah, this is just missing. I think I might have come in here before, but I don't remember. This is probably the most forgettable room in the mansion, honestly. I'm Marabu. Do you think I look classy with feathers? That's the last boo in the game, by the way. And it's a frickin' bird reference. Bird up. Bird up. Ah! All right, I'm gonna get you, boo. Oh yeah, so the Lonely Goomba upload a new video on um, Monsters Inc. games for Game Boy. <laughs> Which, I, I found that, like, just really good timing, since I recently watched Monsters, Inc. again, like, a few months ago. I mean, it's not, like, too recent, but, like, the last time I saw Monsters, Inc. was when I was, like, I don't know, five years old or something? <laughs> so, it was really refreshing to see that movie again. And who knows, maybe I'll watch Monsters University, which I've never seen. I came out, like, after I stopped being into kitty things, quote-unquote. Quote-unquote kitty things. Even though, you know, as you get older, you learn to appreciate the things that are for kids. And somehow you end up liking them more than when you were a kid. Which make it's, it's kind of interesting how that works. Anyways, we gotta do this mission, unfortunately. Get all the ghosts before it's too late. Ooh, spooky. I love this. I love this music. This music never gets old, bro. I swear. So, we're, unfortunately, we're gonna have to replay this mission again, but who knows, if we do it quick enough, maybe we can get, uh, gold on it? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, we got some green geese. Green geese. Oh, look at that, I got all of them. Got all those goons. Gotcha, bitch. Again. So everybody's watching the uh, the Mike Tyson fight now. I don't know how um, that went. I never saw it. 
But the only thing I am hearing about it is that uh, Mike Tyson's ass is everywhere. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm hearing about it. Why is that the thing that I hear about? I don't know. But, sure is interesting. I do not want to grab just that guy. I wanted to grab both of them at the same time. I would have gotten more moony if I did. Bro interrupted me. Can you stop interrupting me, dude? Unnecessary damage there. Super, super. Alright, where are they now? They're, um. Jungle exhibit and Ice Age exhibit. Okay. Thank God for these portals, man. <laughs> it sure is silly. Mike Tyson's ass is everywhere, guys. <laughs> Keep slipping. Well, that was it. That was the whole room. Why is there a boo? There are no boos in here. I got all the boos. <laughs> the fight itself was mid. I didn't really expect it to be anything spectacular. <laughs> Alright, Ice Age exhibit now. I don't know, did uh did did did, did Jake Paul win like everybody was expecting? <laughs> what am I doing? I can just leave and go to this room here. Yeah, oh man, that's so lame, dude. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Hey, hey, come back out. Oh, really, bro? Come on. How how, how did bro how did bro leave? I hate fighting these guys sometimes. Um, I think I'll uh, I think I'll go in this room next. Yeah, it's yellow now. Approach me. I'm not having the best luck with these guys right now. Oh my god, please! <laughs> It's really annoying to get multiple of these guys at once. <laughs> Might actually die in this stupid mission, bro. <laughs> Why, dude? Like, I need a heart, bro. Okay, I got two of them. Alright, approach me. That really sucked. <laughs> um, let's go to the ancient exhibit. 
Miss, yeah, Mr. L is here. Forgot to mention that. No one won. <laughs> Here, come here, come here. Alright, I need you guys to both approach me. Not nah, that, that ain't it, that ain't it, Chief. That still ain't it, Chief. I'm trying to get both of you at once. Fine, whatever. One by one then, I guess. Rotating my stick like crazy. How did you get away, bro? I sucked all your health away. <laughs> this is def we're definitely not getting a good rank on this one, I can tell you that. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. This music is like anxiety and in like one. <laughs> burner, 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 burner. Aren't they in like this door here? Get over here. Um, I don't know. When do you want to do? When do you? When do you want to do Need for Ye again? <laughs> we got. We got. They got so many different games to play and finish. I guess, well, I guess me and Jose are done, so we can focus on Need for Ye for a little while. Tomorrow. What, tomorrow morning? <laughs> Good thing I'm not doing much tomorrow. Look at all these guys, there's so many of them. Yeah, let me get my money. Alright, can you guys all approach me? I'll take it. Ooh, nice. We got all of them at the same time. And here, let's get these mummies over here. That is not where I wanted them to go. Bro, he got... Really? Really, bro? Alright, come here. Really, bro? Stop. Come here. Over here. Stop, dude. You gotta go. I don't know who I should prioritize, honestly. Well, not you. Hold on, I need to get rid of these pumpkins. I need health. These don't have health in them? This is really bad. Are you fucking serious, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that mission. I'll do it later. <laughs> oh, I was right at the end, too. I gotta redo that shit. Fuck. Ugh. God damn it, bro. I'll do it off screen or something. Bro, like, there, there's like five different things at once. There's the frickin' mummies, there's the red guys. Everything. This is it, Luigi. It all comes down to this. All paths seem to be pointing towards that mysterious portal on the terrace. Damn, yeah, you got fucking killed on. Now I'm pissed off, bro. I'm in a terrible mood after that. I did all that fucking work, and I got, I got killed at the end. The Periscope can't find the Dark Moon piece anywhere. There's no place left for it to be. And the same goes for King Boo. He must be beyond that portal, still furious that you captured all the ghosts he sent through it. 
Oh yeah, too bad I died. And last, last but not least, your brother Mario. King Boo must have taken him through the portal too. So, as I said, this is this is it, Luigi. <laughs> I know where that is. This is it, Luigi. Let's go. I don't. It's somewhere. This is it, Luigi. Look, Luigi. If you uh, don't ever come back, just you know. Just know that I'm very proud of you, my boy. Very proud. Good luck, youngster. I'm probably just gonna like do that. That I'm gonna do that fifth mission off screen or something because I literally did all of it in one go, and there's no reason for me to show it again. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's do the final mission of the game. Huh. Oh yeah. So this is one of the few bosses that I remember somewhat. I just remember there being a big night guy. Huh? <laughs> We're in the question mark zone. Ooh, this is some good atmosphere. I gotta take this in for a sec. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Dang, Luigi's got blasted, bro. Alright, time to fight some knights. First hit already, that was pretty easy. Alright, well, we gotta we gotta take down some more knights. Do I have to like lure all the knights to the same spot or something? <laughs> Oh yeah, I do. How am I gonna do that exactly? All right, clear knights. Boom. Yeah, this is a pretty cool boss. <laughs> this boss is not at all what I thought it would be. Alright, four, four ghosts now? Or is he gonna do something wild? Oh. Oh, is this the part that I'm remembering? Ah? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is when the real boss starts. Oh, wow, this is way cooler than I remembered, actually. <laughs> look at this, look at this guy! Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't go hard. Big night guy. Alright, well, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to do here. Ow. Dang. Bro, I was literally trying to outrun that. Is 
So I have to I have to make him stand on both the carpets then. I'm guessing. Okay, and then do it for the other carpet. Yeah, that 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 guy was really hard for a fucking Louise Mansion boss. <laughs> and I still have to, you know, you know what this kind of reminds me of. This kind of reminds me of like Metroid Fusion, where like once you kill the actual boss, he turns into like a freaking X parasite. That's kind of what these little night guy, like these little nightmare ghost guys, are all about. Yo, that boss was sick. That was that way was way cooler than I remember. I mean, he only he only he only died in like three hits, but still, that's a good boss. All right, now we have all the Dark Moon pieces. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, we got the Dark Moon piece. Good boss. That was a good, really good boss. You've done it, my boy. You've actually done it, the final Dark Moon piece. It's not gonna be easy, but I'll try to bring you out of that horrible illusion. Come on, Pixelator, this one is crucial, baby. Don't fail me now. That was it, that's just, that's the whole mission. Three minutes. And I still got a silver for that? Bro, I did that in like three minutes. I should have gotten a gold. Come on, man. <laughs> nope, Luigi's getting trapped in space and time, bro. <laughs> it just brought back the, the frickin' Dark Moon piece. <laughs> That's my face. That's my face when I have to redo E5. Alright, final boss time. Get ready for like one of the greatest final boss themes <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Welcome to the welcome to the King Boo Hell Zone. I think it's especially fitting that I'm Mr. L for this finale, though. Oh, it's like it's like a unsure remix of the Mario theme there for a sec. <laughs> now what do we have here? Why, if it isn't my old pal Luigi, or is it baby Luigi? I can't tell the difference. Hey, remember that time you trapped me in a painting for all eternity? Good times. But guess what? I got out, and now I'm a painting. I'm painting the town red. Yes, it was I who broke the dark moon. This power-enhancing jeweled crown of mine made it easy. And now that all the ghosts of Evershade Valley are under my control, it's time to take my rightful place as the supreme ruler of your world. You, that annoying scientist, and all your friends will look great hanging on the wall of my throne room. <laughs> It's been long- it's been like 10 years since I've seen this final boss, so this is gonna be nice and refreshing. Alright, let's see how this goes. Defeat King Bo. So, I'm supposed to use the spike balls somehow? Can I shoot the spike balls at him? Oh. 
I don't think I can actually hit him with the spike balls. Unless I can. No. Hmm. Do I have to flash him with the dark light? I'm not sure, honestly. No, he, he just bounces off of them. Well, he like, he fucking wave dashed out of the way, bro. <laughs> Can I blow them into him? Puzzles. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I, I fucking cocked up my chance to get him. <laughs> Whoops. I think I understand how this boss works, though. Maybe. Oh, but the spike ball cucked me. <laughs> Dang you, spike ball. No, he wave dashed. Oh, but I got him anyway. It's like the battle arena's against you. <laughs> That's just phase one, by the way. Yeah, this is really cool. No, screw that gold bar, who needs it? He's catching up. Oh, oh shit. Dang, this is tense. No, oh, come on, get through. Come on, we gotta make it, Luigi. No, get, get the gun on the escalator, Luigi. Luigi, come on. <laughs> Why is there so much of this? <laughs> there's, there's ice. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, phase two. Or phase three? I don't know. Dang, okay. I, I, I dig this final boss. This is good. This is good stuff. Alright, get, get, get hit. Do I have to watch out for the spike balls? Got him. Thank God for the ultra poultry ice. Imagine how much tougher this boss would be if, um, I had, like, base rank Poltergeist. <laughs> or Poltergust, rather. Not Poltergeist. <laughs> Alright, phase four, I guess? This kind of reminds me of the fucking Scarecrow sections in, uh, like, the fucking Arkham games. <laughs> Even though I've never played those games, I just remember watching people play them. This is a this is a great final boss. <laughs> Honestly though, I think I might prefer this to Luigi's Mansion 3 of Final Boss. I don't even remember the Luigi's Mansion 3 final boss that well. But I think I like this more. Come on, Luigi, make it. 
Oh my god. If they're doing a good job of making it tense. Alright, phase five? Dang, okay. No, it was like the opposite side of the arena. Yeah, he's not fucking around. <laughs> Oh, and now he's making the arena all fucked up. Alright, approach me. Nope, get away from the spikes. Get away. Oh, dang it! Well, this spike ball is still here. Is this spike ball just gonna stay in the arena now? No, <laughs> oh, okay, it's gone now. Eh. Okay, I couldn't do much about that. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, did I actually get him? I think I did. I think I got him. Well, there's the dark moon, or the, the ruby. I don't know what you call it. That was a fantastic final boss. <laughs> Mario. Oh, hey, Egad pixelated himself this time. Yeah, use the dark light device. Oh, this is cool. And yeah, we're just taking this area. Okay, so we're in the terrace right now. Can I do the funny? Can I do the the funny thing? I mean, I can't like I can't like use my fucking poltergeist on Egad. He's just there. <laughs> okay. Mario. Mario. Oh. <laughs> Luigi, you save Mario. I did it. Wait to go. Oh yeah! Oh, here's all the Todds. Yeah, the Toads are being useful. <laughs> it's just kind of funny seeing like the Mr. L skin though. N now I'd say it's not really that fitting, but whatever. It was good for the finale. There it is. It's the name of the game, the Dark Moon. Boom. Oh. Ah. That's get that's that's gonna bring all the ghosts back. You get so used to seeing them without pupils that when they do get pupils, it looks weird. <laughs> what is bro doing? <laughs>
He's got the boo button. <laughs> what the fuck does the boo button do? It probably lets the boos out or something, I don't know. Ah, look at all those ghosts. Yay! Happy ending. And a doggy, too. Hey, doggy. That's my bro. Thanks, Mario. Oh. oh, I love that line. That's a good Mario line. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I find it weird though, because they sort of slightly retcon this in the third in the third game, because the polter pup in that game doesn't have eyes or pupils, oh, rather. Hey. Like they sort of retcon it in a way. It's it's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'ma go to bed now. <laughs> Mar Luigi just goes to sleep in his frickin' chair. <laughs> now he can sleep with his doggy. That is a great ending. And I beat the mission. Oh, you're still gonna grade me on how well I did? <laughs> wow, thanks. Thanks, now you're gonna grade me. A nightmare to remember. <laughs> In case you ever want to fight King Boo again and get a gold star. Based on the work of the development team from the original 3DS version. Yeah, Tantalus worked on this remake, or remaster. It's interesting. Because I think, um... I think, uh... What was it? Retro made the... I mean, I, I always get the frickin', like, devs mixed up. Um... Let me, let me double check. It's, um... It's Next Level Games. I get Retro, Next Level Games, and Camelot all mixed up in my head for some reason, because they all make, they all make, uh... You know, Mario spin-off games. Well... Retro makes DK and Metroid, but I don't know. I still haven't memorized that for some reason. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and Luigi, even Luigi is like Mr. L in the credits. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a part of um, the mod or not. Or like maybe they just throw in the models and make them stills or something. I don't know, but either way, this, this, it was great playing this game all the way through. Now, technically, we're not quite done, because I need to do the bonus level, which, um, I'll probably do that after the credits. Well, I have to also replay, um, fucking E5, which is annoying, so I'll probably just pause the stream and do that off camera. Because uh, I don't think y'all need to see me do that again. <laughs> yeah, I do find it kind of cool that um, Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 are like sort of like sequels to each other because the Polter Pup shows up in 3. That's like the main thing. Hey, there's those fuzzy guys. I don't know. I don't know what their name is, but they're here too. Probably way better fuzz textures than on the 3DS. But yeah, for the longest time, I, I thought like, oh, Luigi's Mansion 2 is not that great, it's not worth playing. But no, I think it's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's still my, probably my least favorite of the Luigi's Mansion games. I still think like, you know, 3 is slightly better than this one, but not by too much. 3 and 2 are pretty on par with each other, honestly. It's just, I think that 3 is better because of it's, like, it's not mission-based, because I, I think the mission pacing kind of bogs this one down a bit. And also, just, 3 is a lot easier to 100%, <laughs> because 2 has the whole, like, gold star in every mission kind of deal, and that makes it really annoying to 
if you're trying to go for everything, which is why I'm not going to be doing that, because I'm not playing through all the levels millions of times to try and perfect them. I'm not really feeling that, honestly. So, yeah. But hey, I mean, if you guys, if, if, there, if you guys want to, you know, you can do that. You can, uh, you can get all the gold stars and all the levels or whatever if you really want to. <laughs> So now it'll, uh, yep, now it says I have 100%. Oh, wait, I guess it get like a little King Boo icon on the screen. That's cool. Alright, well. Oh, that's cool. It actually shows you. It's actually showing you King Boo's illusion. So it's its own level, I guess. <laughs> King Boo's created the ultimate illusion. He's waiting for you to show yourself. Are you brave enough to face him in his own territory once again? Okay. But, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go do that mission again, so I'll see you guys in like, I don't know, 15 minutes. So yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, after some more misery, I am done this mission again. <laughs> and I did it a little bit faster. <laughs> Still no gold, though. Because who needs gold, am I right? I think this mission alone is half the reason I don't want to fucking gold rank every level in this game. Well, that begs the question, did Chugga Conroy get gold stars in every level in this game? I don't know. He usually does 100% everything. I mean, he did the fucking, uh, Green Shell Challenge legitimately in Bowser's Insight Story. So, probably. <laughs> that must have taken a lot of time. Alright. Well, I finally have every boo in this game now. <laughs> And th this guy got updated, apparently. And that guy. And that guy. And the boo! Boo. Alright, we got Terrifying Invasion. Which we can use to get the rest of the gems that we missed. Nice. So, now we have to do Terrifying Invasion. I also have to figure out where the last few gems are, because we didn't get them all. Um... The triangle and the baguette. Um, triangle is in the haunted catacombs. Okay, so we're gonna basically do what we did for all the other levels, where we, um, we replay this level twice, and we get all the gems on the first round, and then we do- we try to get a good rank on the second one. I knew it all along, I tell you. King Boo was the one sending the ghosts to reclaim the mansions. I reckon he flew into a rage every time we recover one of the Dark Moon pieces. And now he sent a horde of ghosts to regain control of the treacherous mansion. I'm afraid we're in trouble, my boy. He's sending the strongest ghosts he got. If he reclaims the mansion, his army of ghosts will be able to invade all of Evershade Valley and beyond. At least you're gonna have to give this one all you've got. Alright, here we go. Last mission in the game, which I'm gonna probably play twice so I can get everything. Or so I can get a good rank. I kinda wanna get a good rank on all the invasions, you know? Oh. So I can leave the mansion. Oh, they're al he already marked the map off. So it says the first gem is in the catacombs. The catacombs and the haunted catacombs cliffside. Where are we right now? We're in the veranda. <laughs> um, ceremonial chamber. There's the haunted catacombs. We have to get all the way down to B2 somehow. I forget how we got down there. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Bottom of the well. This nonsense we've dealt with already. I kind of forgot this was part of the mansion, honestly.
was over here again? Oh yeah, 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 we take the chair to get down there. So apparently there's like two gems like right next to each other. And they're both down in the catacombs. And apparently you can't return here in a later mission? Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I have to do this fucking maze? <laughs> Haunted Catacombs. Oh, shit. <laughs> what does it say? It just says, The player should burn the webs in the second half. Hmm. It's the vacuum. Vacuum the webs, huh? Um, where do we go again? What's this doing here? Yeah, that's not it. Alright, I'm gonna bumble around like an idiot for a little while now. <laughs> Do I go to the right? Oh no, this is like a big-ass maze, dude. Well, here's the problem. I can't, like... <laughs> I can't, um, figure out which way is the correct way because the freaking dog stuff isn't here now. Is it here? Underground lab. The map still isn't working. Okay, we're back in here again. What's this area? Dungeon cells. I want to go back to the haunted catacombs. I want to go to the cliffside. I don't even know if I went to the cliffside before. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fumble around in here for a while. Oh, there! Hey, there's a gem right here. That one's just chilling there. Okay. So I need to go this way? And now where? Whoa. Not there! Boom. Where else can I go? Oh, hang on, hang on. Well, I guess all the- well, I guess all of the, um... I guess they're all burned already, right? Whoops. Well, how do you get to the cliffside from here? Yeah, how do you get to the cliffside from here? Um... Let's see, um... Mmm... Let's see... I have to get there somehow. I don't know how I get there. There's a chest here. I can't go in there? Oh no. Oh no, Mario. I don't know how to get to the kit, the cliffside. Does this go anywhere? Nope. Where's this go? This goes back to the lab, okay. Oh boy. This is, um, certainly a place. <laughs> I'm gonna try out all the different pathways. I don't know if it matters which ones I use. This probably would have been a lot easier to play on the, uh... Well, there's a door here. Oh, here we go. Here's how we get to the cliffside. There is the last gem. Don't know if I get a secret for um, going all the way over here. I got some hearts. Okay, now the problem is how do I leave? <laughs> how do I leave this place? Do I have to go backwards through the maze now? Well, I guess this is one way to get back.
Yep, wasting uh, five minutes. Wasting five minutes trying to get all the, these last two gems. There we go. Uh -huh. So you can take the chair back up. Everything's gotta be connected to each other. It is very nice of the mode they make it so that, um... Oh, wait. I can't get out. Uh-oh. Maybe I can't go back out this way. Wait, what's this? What's this area over here? Oh. Chests that I can't do anything with. Okay, maybe I do need to go to the end of the maze. See, normally you just get everything from Ega. Ega would tell you everything you need to know. Alright, the door. Okay, let me, let me just see what's at the end of this maze. Get lost in here trying to figure out how to freaking leave, dude. Whoops, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do the maze. Where's the door at? Fuck, how do I get to the um, how do I get to the place I need to go? Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna go in the cells. Maybe the cells will take me where I need to go. Is there like a teleporter in here or something? Wait. <laughs> I could just walk through that. That's silly. How do I fucking get out of here then? Well, the bomb? Will the bomb take me out of here? Maybe. It'd be really dumb if there wasn't a way to get out of here. What? What is the point of this? <laughs> Shovel? What, what is this? What is this area? Is there supposed to be something here? Huh? <laughs> I don't see anything here. Okay, so I think that's like a dead end. So you gotta, you gotta push this around somehow. I forget how you do that. Oh no, man. Oh no, Mario. I don't know how to get out of the maze. What's the point of all of this? Maybe I should just replay E1 <laughs> at this point. At this point, I will just replay E1 because I don't fucking know how to get out of here. <laughs> God damn it, bro. <sighs> well, that was a waste of time. At least I know how to get the gems now. Yeah, I don't- I don't fucking know how to get it. <laughs> I don't know how to get everything. I don't know how to get out, bro. The door was locked behind me. Well, unfortunately, we gotta play balancing again. Which is, uh, not very fun. Because Luigi has terrible balance. I mean, I could just keep rocking it back and forth. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. You don't have to worry about Luigi falling off. <laughs> oh. Yeet. Eh, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I know where to go, at least. 
I mean, honestly, this series would be a lot shorter if I didn't keep everything in. <laughs> I, if for, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just cut this out right now. But, I don't know. Alright, we're going down. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Scooter. So, we know where the two gems are, so that's gonna make this level a lot easier. Oh, the problem is I'm gonna have to remember where to go. I gotta fight some goons. So oh, funny ghost. You're not gonna take your helmet off? I guess not. Oh, now you're gonna take your helmet off? Okay. What are you? Whatever you say, buddy. What? How are you not dead, bro? I get. I bet you're dead. These guys are real prickly bastards today, I swear. I keep letting go of, like, the, you know, suction too early. And that's what keeps causing me to, um, you know, leave them with, like, 5 HP left or whatever. Which is really annoying. Okay, so in theory, if I wanted to leave... What could I have done here? Can I like can I my flash can my vacuum even reach out that far? That's the problem. I don't know how to get out of here. It's like in theory you could technically go there, but not like it matters. That's why I'm thinking it's just better to um redo the mission. Can I get the knights to come out? I'm not gonna really bother with the money. There's no point. At the, there's no point to worry about it. I forgot you have to actually fight uh, knights before the boss. I kind of forgot about that. Nope. That doesn't work. They look so menacing, and then it just turns out there's little green guys inside. <laughs> <laughs> so much for being threatening. It's just funny how things are sometimes. Ah. The journey to 100% Luigi's Mansion is a bit of a long one. I mean, what was this? 22 hour game in total, I think? Well, I, don't know, I wouldn't say 22 hours, but I'm just averaging because, um... You know. What was this? This? That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Oops. Golden Froggy. I remember. I remember the pathway already. Oh. Okay. I don't think those knights were there before. Yeah, that's the thing. I have to deal with, um, I have to deal with silly ghosts. <laughs> why do these guys, why do these guys kind of sound like bulldogs? <laughs> Bulldog ghosts. And we've had those before. Okay, so I gotta burn something. What was in here again? Money. Yeah, it says I gotta burn the web. Yeah, so that's, so that's the thing. 
the question is, how do I burn it? Wait, wait, don't go that way. Is there like a log over here or something? Oh. Well, I actually get to do this puzzle now. So, I mean, technically you get to do the, the puzzle. Like, you definitely have to do the puzzle, because as far as I know, there's no way to get out. Alright, let's go get the baguette real quick. Um, I can remember where the door is. I just know the door is, like, somewhere here. Eh, not there. Is it? Oh, it's here, right here. Yeah, it's a bit out of the way, but I don't know. I kind of missed this one. All right, now we have all the gems. Now we can actually, you know, do this properly. You know, sure, I'll take the gold bars. Don, don. Alright, let's actually progress the level like normal. I mean, we're almost done anyway, so it's fine. Hmm. Oh, bone. I got a golden bone. There's that. Here's this. Yeah, so this 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 stuff isn't here otherwise. Blow up the wall. And we can free the ghost. Well actually I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> Doggy time! Doggy time! Give me that key. Alright. We can finally be done with this level. I mean, hey, man, you never know, I might get a gold on that. We'll see. The eight minutes. Oh, still, still silver. Boo, lame. Pepperoni cheesecake. Pepperoni cheesecake. My girlfriend's eating cheesecake. <laughs> But it doesn't look like cheesecake, it looks more like chocolate cake. <laughs> yes, I got the front door key this time. I got my two gems, and my money. We're gonna end the game with like 30k. I didn't know cheesecake could be good. I never liked cheesecake as a kid, and I st haven't tried it since, <laughs> so I don't know. Anyways, final mission in the game, finally. <laughs> and this time I have all the gems, so I don't have to do any crazy backtracking. There's that one big cube that got stuck. Okay, so we gotta go to the Ice Age exhibit. I mean, this is just a repeat of the frickin', um... What do you call it? It's just, this is just a repeat of the mission we did earlier in the game. Well, you guys are gonna be annoying. Do I have to suck the helmets off, or what? 
Oh, of course they take off their freaking helmets. Why don't you put that helmet back on, bro? I'm waiting. <laughs> Let's get back. Okay. Um, jungle exhibit and the bathrooms. <laughs> oh, hey, there you are. I like how there's just random regular ghosts mixed in here. Well, this one shouldn't be that hard. There's ghosts in the bathroom! Ghosts in the bathroom, who would have guessed? <laughs> nope, you better not. Don't you fucking dare. You fucking asswipe. My flashlight doesn't want to work half the damn time, I swear. <laughs> Alright, that's done. Mm, don't really know where I should go. Okay, they're on the nautical exhibit and space exhibit. That's easy to get to. Uh, getting there is gonna be a problem though, because I gotta walk all the way back. Not really an easy way to get there. I guess this is good enough. Big guy. I open. Uh, show me your face. Show me your face. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to show his face. I hate these freaking helmet guys. They're so annoying. <laughs> Get over here, bitch. Oh, you're coming with me too, buddy. You're not getting away. But don't check the frickin' trophy, bro. What are you doing? Finally, some normal ghosts to bust. Oh, and there's one more room. Probably get it done in like four minutes, maybe. If I'm lucky. What was this room? I don't remember. I never even came in here, I don't think. I don't remember coming in the archives at all. That was it. I got it done in 353. <laughs> yeah, that was that was such a nothing burger level. I probably got a gold for that since I did it within four minutes. I did it. I did that. Yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good note to end on, I'd say. <laughs> Getting a gold. And we got all the gems, too. Let's go. I think that's everything, then. I think we got everything in the game. Do I get a reward for finding all the gems, Egad? I mean, I don't know if he's gonna give me a reward. I sure hope I got one, though. You did, Luigi. I didn't think the Poltergeist 5000 could hold that many ghosts. <laughs> yeah, 400 bucks. I mean, I can't believe you actually pulled that off. 
Those ghosts would have destroyed the mansion and ravaged the entire valley, and beyond. Son, you saved us all, and the people out there don't even know it. If I wore a hat, I'd take it off to you. But I'm not much of a hat guy. It takes me a long time to do my hair. Anywho, King Boo must be furious right now. Let's pay him a visit, eh? <laughs> what do you mean pay him a visit? He's dead. Is there a point to refighting King Boo? I don't know. I don't think there is. Well, we got they got all the gems in the game. Yay! Well, let's look at look at, let's look at the vault now. We can look at the updated uh, bestiary, I suppose you could say. We got the ghost container, the gem collection, the upgrades, boo canister. Well, let's see. I caught 99 of these guys. <laughs> Sneaker. Short. Lo oh yeah, I forgot about. I forgot about the ghosts. Gobbert. Poltergeist. <laughs> Strong greenie. The crystals of the mine have really changed these charming fellows. They're now much stronger and more able to get shenanigans. Don't let them get equipped. Whoever strengthened these bullies by putting them in the crystals had only one thing in mind. Creating ghosts strong enough to crush rocks into dust with a single blow. Now that these ghosts have been augmented by the crystals, capturing them is even trickier. It's best to wait until they show themselves. This guy is trouble. He's tougher and meaner than a normal sneaker. And all those marks on his body are downright bristling with power. These massive disgusting ghosts can destroy an entire mansion before you can say crimey. That's gross. Watch out for their flying goo. Grouchy possessor. Harsh possessor. <laughs> Overset possessor. Shrewd possessor. And tough possessor. Ancient poltergeist. <laughs> this, this guy is his own entry, I guess. <laughs> he was hiding in the clock tower. As if these weren't enough trouble already, these bra brainy ghosts are getting their telekinetic powers augmented by crystals. Gold greeny. <laughs> Polter pup. <laughs> He's the, uh, that's the Polter pup that Luigi has. Huh, okay. He has his own entry. Interesting. Scarescraper ghosts. Well, I haven't done Scarescraper, and I probably won't. Here's all the gems. Oh, we got a statue. Oh, shit. So if you get all the gems, you get, like, Luigi statues. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, that's sick. So the gems do have a purpose, then. You get, like, shiny little Luigi statues for your work. Oh, that's nice. So that's my reward, is five shiny Luigi statues. Hey, I, I say that's worth it. Oh, here's your uh, upgrades. You've unlocked all the upgrades, congratulations. And the booze. Oh my god, they're so cute, look at them. They look like they're having fun. <laughs> they're having so much fun in there. Ah, oh, you'd make you'd I believe you'd make me believe that they they want to stay in here. <laughs> they don't mind they don't mind just hanging out in here as long as they get to be together. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I mean, should I try out the scare scraper? Searching. Oh. Well, I, I'd have to play by myself. Probably. Eh, nah. I don't really feel like it. Not connect to the internet. What's, what's the internet? Eh. I don't really feel like... I don't think I'll be checking out the scare scraper. 
I think Chuck Conroy did a video on it. You can check that out, probably. <laughs> I don't really feel like doing it. It's kind of like, um, you know, just like you go to random rooms, you catch ghosts with friends. I think it, it, it can be fun if you get a bunch of people together, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's just a thing. All right, well, I'm, I'm, uh, that's, uh, that's Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Dark Moon for the Switch with mods. <laughs> Had a lot of fun playing this game. And that, yeah, definitely like Luigi's Mansion 3, there were a lot of really frustrating moments, but I did manage to beat it, and I toughed it out until the end. We got everything, and it was fun to, you know, just experience this game in the best possible way on the Switch. You know, I'm really glad I waited to for, for there to be a Switch version, because I was gonna think, I was thinking about playing the 3DS version, like, a few years ago. And I would say all that waiting really paid off because now I got to play this version and I'm glad I did because it runs way better. Well, it's more like it looks better. It runs better is, you know, definitely a controversial take, but with the 60 FPS mod, I'd say yes, it, it looks pretty flawless to me. Sure, there's a few frame skips, but I don't know. This is probably like a very, un very hot take, but uh... I, I honestly don't mind uncapped frame rates. <laughs> I don't mind them too much, as long as the game just looks smoother. I don't mind a few frame skips here and there. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to YouTube and Twitch. Now that I'm done um, with Dark Moon, now I can focus on Tower of Trials, and I can also focus on Finishing a bunch of other games that I started but never got back to finishing like Mike Tyson's punch-out that one Probably would only be like two or three sessions on its own uh, Honey pop 2 <laughs> Inevitably I do got to finish that because you know I I don't like starting something and then just giving up on it, but I, ha I have it still my save file is probably still there uh, I'll probably get back to that one some point too. I Don't know thing is, is it's one of those games where like I kind of need friends for it to be there for it to be interesting. Otherwise, I'm just rambling to myself. I'm probably just going to do it whenever I'm bored and have the time. And if people want to join the call or not. Because, um, like, I don't know. I don't know when people are free. I'd probably have to do it like, I don't know, like afternoons, evenings or so. Probably afternoons would be the best time to do that kind of game. And that's, obviously that's something I have to record because you can't stream Honey Pop too. That's like a, that's just waiting to get your Twitch taken down. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to say, but expect a um, another stream tonight. I already talked to Seb. He said he's not free tonight, so we're not doing Infinite Fusion, sadly. So we are gonna do um, either more Mario Party. Or we're going to do Insane Cartwheel is what I'm thinking. Kind of wish we had a bit more to do than just those games, but eh. It is what it is. Especially because I don't have a series going on with Aaron right now. Who knows, I might. I might do that, I don't know. But uh, enough rambling from me. I'm going to go. I might work on um, Down Bad Edition today, or I might just watch YouTube. I don't know, I'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see you guys then.